Well, the other night in 60 Minutes, President Obama blamed bad intel for the rise of ISIS, or ISIL as he calls it. And this morning we know now perhaps it actually could have been no intel at all because the president missed a lot of his <laughs> meetings. South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham, also on the Senate Armed Services Committee, joins us here today to react. So the, ga uh, the Government Accountability Institute says that the President of the United States only attended 42 percent of his daily intel briefings. So he was saying they missed it, talking about the intel community, maybe he missed it. Well, does he have a television at the White House? <laughs> How could anybody miss this that's paying any attention at all? Senator McCain and I said in October of 2013, watch out for ISIS. They're filling in the vacuum created by not supporting the Free Syrian Army. Let's have a hearing when we get back in session. Call the intel people in and say, okay, who's to blame here? Did you fail to tell our president about the rise of ISIS, ISIL? Uh, did you tell him anything about the degrading of the Iraqi army? The one thing that really ticks me off here is the surprise we have about the inability of the Iraqi army to take the fight to ISIL. If you'd followed anything at all after we'd left no troops behind, Maliki gutted the Iraqi army of any leadership. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a surprise if you're paying any attention to what's going on in Iraq. Well, here's Jen Psaki. Uh, she was just on with us a short time ago on the president <clears throat> getting his intelligence briefings. There's information the president receives on a daily basis. Uh, there's a range of officials in the administration, including the president, that make the decision to designate a terrorist organization, that made the decision to increase assistance to the Iraqi security forces, that made the decision to do strikes last week. Uh, the president has been leading with the support of his national security team to take on this threat and take on this fight. And anyone in the intelligence community will tell you who's worked in the intelligence community, it's very hard to predict, uh, nearly impossible to predict, that an, uh, an organization and a, a a force like the Iraqi security forces were going to lay down their arms and not fight back. Is it predicting when you've had information coming at you from a number of different sources? It was what all was pre predictable. Three years ago, Senator McCain and I said that if you don't help the Free Syrian Army when they had Assad on the ropes, you're missing a great opportunity. And uh, Russia went all in, Hezbollah went all in to help Assad. We abandoned the Free, Syri Free Syrian Army, and this vacuum created has been filled by ISIL and other terrorist organizations. When we left no troops behind in Iraq, they went back to their sectarian corners. Maliki purged the army of all the people we trained and put his cronies in. And let me tell you this, Mr. President, if you do a deal with Iran like you're proposing, where they have an enrichment capability, uh, it's gonna result in the North Korean outcome where one day they'll get a nuclear weapon. Mr. President, you need to talk to somebody about Libya. Libya is a complete failed state now. Sure. It's gonna affect Egypt and Africa. You know, it, and Egypt's already taken action. It, it all comes down to this. Uh, after During the president's re-election campaign, he said, you know, bin Laden's gone, and you know, yeah, yeah. for the most part, we killed off all of al-Qaeda. Right. None of that was true. I, bin Laden was dead, but al-Qaeda on the run? Not really. And for Jen Psaki to parse words about, well, that's an affiliate, blah, blah, blah. Of it's so. I'm an al-Zawahari said, hey, you, my best men, go to Syria and go do this stuff. Well, That's core al-Qaeda. All I can say, Mr. President, you will never destroy ISIL without boots on the ground. And you're not going to get an Arab army to go into Syria and defeat ISIL without substantial American help. And if you want to destroy ISIL inside of Iraq, you better rebuild the Iraqi army. You better get the Sunnis peeled away from the uh, uh, ISIL in the Anbar region. And you better arm the Kurds. Kurds, you're doing none of this. Mr. The President, Kurds aren't getting armed yet? No, 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 not in any substantial way. The president is disconnected. He says the only thing the terrorists understand is the language of force. Well, he's not very fluent in that language. All he talks about is what we won't do. You cannot destroy ISIL, which is an army, without an army engaging ISIL. True. You just can't. All right, Senator, thank, thank you very, very much. much. All right, Thank Good you, Senator. Senator.